Come on, come on, hey, come on, hey, come on. All right, oh, <laughs> hi. Well, as you can see, I'm a little busy here. Uh, I want you to see my ability to be um, a commanding master. All right, let's see if it works. Seamus, sit, sit. All right, oh, okay, this one's Duncan. He sat. Wait, 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 hey, sit, sit. Sit. Mm. Seamus, sit. Oh well. Oh, I got your attention, right? Suppose God, instead of giving us commands, gave us mm, suggestions. Instead of saying, Thou shalt not commit adultery, God says, May I suggest that you don't commit adultery? Or, if you don't mind, try not to fool around. What if God, instead of giving us commandments, gave us, shall we say, guidelines, or uh, hints, or clues? It would miss something. The power is missing. It's kind of ridiculous to even think about. We're going to start talking about the commandments of God. God gave us the commandments. There's a rules to follow that we're to obey. But we need to ask ourselves a, a few questions. Why did God give us these commandments? And then the secondary question is, how can we obey them? That's what we're going to reflect on on Mondays and Wednesdays with this Padres Corner on the commandments. So before we get into the specific commandments, a few things, three reasons why God gave us the commandments. By the way, Sam, take a look at these dogs now. So. I don't know. I don't know what the effect is, but they're comfortable. The first reason that God gives us the command, uh, commandments is because, frankly, we need them. We need commandments to keep us healed from ourselves. Because left to our own devices, this is what we become. Pretty pathetic, isn't it? God gives us commandments because he is the great healer. Second, God gives us the commandments because he wants to make clear for us what his expectations are. That's what good parents do. I want you to be in by a certain time. If you're not going to be there, if you're not going to be in, call me. Those are things that make expectations clear. That's called communication. God, the great communicator. God who heals us. God who communicates to us. And then, of course, God gives us the commandments because he loves us. Take a look at these dogs again. These dogs need rules. They need to obey. They need structure. And with structure, there is the house of love. And God gives us these commandments once and for all time as a great father. So he gives us these commandments for untold reasons. But the first reason in speculation would be to heal us because we need them, to make it very clear what he expects of us. He's the great communicator. And because he loves us, he makes everything clear to us and um, creates a house of expectation for us. Now the problem is, if we can go back to the dogs, is how are we going to get them to obey. Let's see if they'll come. Seamus, Duncan, come. Come, come, come. Hey, sit, 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 sit. Good boys. Until next time, lots of love. God be with you.